Hi there, it's Wes again. Welcome to my video on the biggest change in my portfolio so far. I'm going to replace the fundamentals within my dividend portfolio to generate more dividends and to generate more dividend growth. But before I show you the big change in my portfolio, I'm giving some background on my investment story. I am a 25 year old investment strategist for a $30 billion pension fund specialized in multi-asset investing. On my job, I invest in stocks, bonds, real estate, private equity, and so on. For my personal portfolio, I am focusing on generating passive income through dividends and letting that grow by picking stocks with a healthy dividend growth profile. It's no rocket science, but I would love to share my journey to financial independence with you guys. Maybe you guys can learn something from my takeaways and maybe I can learn something from you guys as well. There's no right or wrong within investing and I would love to learn how everyone approaches their own journey. Within dividend investing, you have a lot of choices. Are you picking high yielding dividend stocks? Are you purely focusing on dividend growth for the long run? Are you implementing these strategies through ETFs? Or are you just stock picking? Lots of questions and as I said before, there's no right or wrong. I have set this goal. Within five years, my portfolio should be around 100,000 euros with a dividend of 5,000 per year. That is a little bit more than 400 euros per month on average. That sounds lovely to me. That already gives me a kind of freedom without being completely financially free. And ultimately, I want to get so much dividends from my portfolio that I can live off it. That's further away. But as a medium term goal, I've chosen this. What helps me that it gives me direction. My goal is to achieve this within dividend growth stocks so that the dividend income that I will receive can and will beat in inflation in the long term. I also really want my portfolio as a whole to provide a dividend growth of 5 to 10% per year on average. What I can do is telling you how I approach it and what my plans are for the future. I started focusing on dividend stocks halfway last year. So my different portfolio is not at all where I want it to be. There are still some legacy stocks in there, like Two Harbors Investment Corp, Just E Takeaway, Bit Farms, Workers Group, failed stocks that do not pay sustainable dividends or even any dividends whatsoever. For example, Two Harbors Investment Corp has a payout ratio of over 200%. Not sustainable, not safe, no safe dividends and up for removal. My portfolio is built up like a house. A solid foundation in the form of the Vanguard ETF and on top, on top of that, I trim my portfolio according to my own goals, which I explained in my previous video. But for the ones that missed that video, I will, I will repeat it later on in this video. As you can see, my goal is to build a solid foundation with an ETF. I will later explain this ETF, which should be around 40% of my total portfolio. And on top of that, I trim according to my own goals. Um, my portfolio was 60% of dividend stocks. If the growth on my portfolio is on the low side, I add some more high dividend growth stocks and vice versa. If the yield is a little bit low, I add some high yielding stocks. I do this according to the golf planner. Um, for the ones that missed the previous video, I will explain it in short. For example, Fiji. I want to have so many shares of it that I can expect 200 in dividends per year. If I've achieved that goal, for example, with Fiji, then I put a check mark behind it. And then I think, do I find this allocation big enough for now? Do I want more Fiji? Then I can always increase it in the next column and possibly to the biggest column. And that way I can build a nicely diverse portfolio. I'm currently still figuring out which companies I find most interesting and in which column I will place them. My goal is to eventually have 10 to 15 names left and scale them up to a nice height. The eighth companies uh, that you are seeing on the goals planner right now will stay there. So we have Visa, Microsoft and Altria on the $50 dividend per year group, PepsiCo, Oracle and MSCI, a little bit high dividend growth in the $100 dividend per year group and Fiji and Starbucks in the $200 dividend per year group. All companies with solid cash flows and a safe dividend. But the big thing that I want to highlight in this video is that the foundation of my portfolio is going to change. In last week, I already started to trim my, uh, my position in the Vanguard All World ETF to change it, to replace it for the Vanguard All World High Dividend Yield ETF. As you might see on the internet, 
the Vanguard High Yield Dividend ETF has a little bit of a higher expense ratio, making it a little bit more expensive. It is 0.29% against the 0.22% for the Vanguard All World ETF. I did some research and both have a very similar risk profile and very similar downside risk. But the larger benefit of the high yield dividend yield ETF is obviously the higher dividend yield. Previously, the foundation of my portfolio only yielded me 1.64%. And after this, after I complete this switch, it will yield me 3.3%, which is more than double and crucial if I ever want to live off my dividends. I evaluated the choice carefully and found this to be the best choice for me. It is comparable to the US version of the Swap US Dividend Equity ETF. I don't have access to that one, so I had to find an alternative. I have a lot of confidence that I found the new Swap US Dividend Equity ETF in VHYL. I used to buy three shares of the Vanguard Old World ETF each month. And for the upcoming year, I will be selling those three a month and switch that to the VHYL. Next to that, I will continue with my monthly contributions so that in a year's time, my position in the Vanguard High Dividend Yield ETF will provide a solid foundation and a nice dividend income for me. After completing the switch, I will have double the amount in dividend income compared to when the basis was the Vanguard All World ETF. A nice switch with only upsides for my investment goals. This can obviously be different from person to person. I hear you thinking, why not switch everything at once, as a lump sum? Well, the stock market has been increasing the past few months, and everything is priced very high. By selling and switching a small part each month, it gives me a good average price. So I'm kind of DCAing in, out of the old ETF and into the new high dividend yield ETF. Looking forward to the remaining planning of this month, I will make two videos on stocks that I think are very interesting and a potential addition to this portfolio. Since my 10 to 15 long-term picks are still not finished, I'm continuing my research on dividend stocks. If you have any requests or suggestions, please let me know. We'll learn from each other. On Saturday the 24th, I will give a weekly recap of the markets and an overview on how my portfolio performed over the last week. We end the month with a monthly recap, which transactions have taken place and what are we expecting for the upcoming month. This will definitely give me the opportunity to tick off some boxes and I'm very happy with this switch. What are you thinking about my foundation switch? Do you think the Vanguard High Dividend Yield ETF is a good foundation for my investment goals? Let me know down here in the comments and please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and until next time. Bye.